Hi everybody, this is Kim and I'm back with another video. Um, it's been a little while since I've made a video. I've had quite a bit of things going on in my life. Um, my father's very ill and um, it's really been, um, it's been difficult. He's been diagnosed with throat cancer. And wow, he's such a trooper, I gotta tell you. So anyways, it's just been um, one of those things that uh, just came up really fast. It grew really fast and so now he's going through the chemo and radiation and and boy, it's changed everybody's life around him because we're all so um, busy trying to help him, you know, fight this and, you know, cure it, try to get a cure for it. Um, anyways, enough of that. I just wanted to show you, I had joined a swap with Art and Sassy, um, dot in dot com and Kara is one of the owners over there and I love doing swaps with her because she is um she always comes up with the really greatest ideas i have never this is supposed to be for a christmas junk journal and i have never made a christmas junk journal before i've never made a junk journal before so i at the time i joined of course was before everything went on in my life and um and i, I made a commitment to do this and thank you so much kara if you're watching this Thank you so much for extending my time. There was a deadline date, and I'm really, really big on meeting those deadline dates, and I just, I couldn't with this one. And, um, but I will say, because of that, I think she gave me a little more time in order to make, you know, my first journal a little bit better, because um, I lucked out and I got her for my partner. It was a one-on-one -on -one swap, and I was very, very happy. And in another video, I will show you what she sent me, and I got really good journal from her. So anyways, Kara, if you don't want to see your journal ahead of time, um, turn off your video now. Otherwise, here it goes. So what I decided to do was it had to be a minimum of four by six. And I want to make it just a little bit bigger just because the things that I found to put in it, it seemed like they were all a little bit bigger size. So I thought, okay, well, she said minimum. So I'm going to go a little bigger and we'll see how it goes. So what I did for my cover was I put a piece of chipboard and I covered it with some paper that I'm so sorry I do not remember where it came from. Um, and I cut out this um, doily, the red doily. It is a Sizzix die that's called the Floral Ovals. And I used a piece of... Um, foam. I get these foam squares and I love to cut accents out with them. So I use some of this red um, foam square and I guess it's a rectangle. And that's what I used to cut the doily out and it really turned out good. I really liked it. Then the wreath on the on top of it is made from two different color green cardstock and I used the boho flower, I think it's called boho flower punch from Stampin' Up and you cut them in half and then you layer them and that's how you make the wreath. Then just decorate it with a couple of rhinestones to make it look like some holly berries. And in the very center, I used one of my gold bottle caps that I have, and then one of the epoxy um, round, uh, like sticky things, and then put a little snowman behind it. And that's what I did to decorate the cover. So then when you open it up, oh, and by the way, I should let you know um, it's a little thicker than what I had planned. I have never bound anything before. So, this is the first time I've ever bound anything with these little rings, and I don't have a binding machine. So, I will be getting one after this. The only reason why I didn't was because I couldn't find one in town, actually, and I couldn't get it done in time to get the machine. So, I will be purchasing one of those real soon. So, when you open it up, I made a little pocket here, and then I took some um, skinny notepads I have that I've um, had cut before, and I um, stamped holiday planner on the top and then used washi tape to make like a little bit of a notepad so that she could put that in there. And then, you know, if she runs out and she wants something else, she can put another notepad in. And then I printed with some digi paper the month calendar for December and then stamped the month. This is a paper tray ink stamp set. And I'm sorry, I don't know, I don't remember what the name is. Um, and then I... Um, printed that up and, and cut it to size so that if she wanted to put in the months, she could and she could keep track of what she's going to do during the holidays. On the other side, I took like a, um, a card, uh, oh my gosh, I can't think. This is like a decorative um, card that I got in a paper pack and then I just put a, um, a tag in the top and this one right here just happens to be blank because I wasn't sure she might want to use it. You know, I kind of wanted to give her a little bit of latitude. So the first, we were supposed to have dividers in it. So for my first divider, instead of using a whole tab, I decided to use a tag. 
and then I just made it a little wider than the um, other pages. And then put a little tinsel stuff, decorated it, sprayed it, and there's the first divider. Then I put another little decorative card and stuck that in. And then I took graph paper, and I have a stamp set that's a Graphic 45 stamp set called the uh, 12 Days of Christmas, and I stamped that in the corner. So I have days one, two, three, and four on graph paper. Then I have some cardstock that I put a sticker making a list, so she can do whatever she wants on that. Some pretty little paper on the back. And then this is some digi paper also that I downloaded that's Christmas wish list, and I gave her a couple of those, a couple of different kinds. And then just some pretty little paper here. And then I took a, um, and made a library card holder and put a little bit of decorative, I think this is from SEI, their decorative border that I got in one of their kits. And I sprayed it, I folded it all together, I um, distressed the outsides, stamped the five golden rings, and then um, uh, sprayed it. I put the library card in here, decorated it, it just a little bit. And then I um, decorated the back side a little. Then this was some cardstock. I had a couple stickers, the Naughty and Nice, put that on it. And then some the back side of the cardstock. And then some more Digi paper that I downloaded from the Desk of Santa Claus. And then I loved this paper. I knew I had to put this paper in here. I just wasn't sure what I was going to do with it and where I was going to put it. So I put some of the Merry Christmas. You know those um, sheets? Let me see if I can. I can't remember what they're called. My, you should see my craft desk. It's just a, a holy mess. Um, this one is the Elizabeth Craft Designs sheet. And she has another sheet that has all Merry Christmases. That's all it says is Merry Christmas so that you can use it. I love these. I think they're so beautiful for Christmas. So, anyways, that's just to show, kind of show you what I took it from. But that's what I used. And then on the back side, I had a couple decorative pieces of um, Santa Clauses. Did a little stamping. This is paper training ink also. Um, and then I did some more digi paper, and this is the gift ideas, and it has a few sheets of that, and then a supply list sheet, and then I think I have, yes, a to-do list, and then some more cardstock. Did a little stamping on that. And then I found this, and it's just this cute little saying of naughty or nice for Santa from the North Pole. It was just so cute that I thought, oh, I'm going to try to incorporate that, so I put that in there. Um, let's go caroling sticker on the back and she can use that for a list if she wants and then on this one I put um, I made a Mrs. Claus out of paper punches and I thought they would go perfect side by side with my next divider which was Santa Claus so I put I made both of these out of paper punches um, and if anybody wants to know how to do them, I might do a tutorial. Just let me know. I think there's a tutorial out there. I'll have to look and see where I got this idea from. It, it is not my idea. Somebody came up with this and I copied it. I just don't remember exactly where it's from. So if, if you're curious or you want to know, leave me a little comment and, and I will find out for you. So here's my second divider. And then I have more graph paper with five, six, seven, and eight days of Christmas. And then I figured this divider would then um, start the baking and the meal planning and stuff. So I put in a recipe card for one of her favorite recipes. And then um, another Recollections recipe card. And then some plain note paper, well, decorative note paper, but some plain, you know, she can make shopping lists, whatever, um, list of what she's going to do for meals. And then this is also some digity paper. Digity. Oh gosh, it's been a long day. Um, some digital paper that I, you know, decorated up on cardstock, and this was just ivory cardstock that I put some netting uh, material that I had, and then I put some more. It's actually the um, ornaments off of this sheet that I showed you, and then I um, I put some a little bit of tinsel. Well, I hope that's not too bright. It's just getting really dark with the sun going down. Put some bows and some, you know tinsel up there and you know, decorated the back half. Here's 9, 10, 11, and 12 days of Christmas. Some more graph paper. And then I saw this little digital paper I thought was so cute. The 12 days of Christmas and it lists off different things. Just was really cute. Um, then I took a vellum bag that I had um, and I put a little paper clip on it with a little bow and it, inside it has a tag right now but I figured if she wanted to put receipts or something in there she could. Um, then I found this cute little recipe for gingerbread muffins. It was so cute. So I colored it in and, you know, dressed it up a little bit. 
and little stamping here and some more of that beautiful paper that I absolutely love that's on the cover and a few more bells out of that gold foil stuff and then I took this is um, a pocket that I made out of a napkin so it's a Christmas napkin and I glued the sides together and then I put um, I downloaded some digi paper that had Christmas cards name address and stuff whether you sent it or and if they've received it or whatever and I figured I'd put that little pocket there and they can, she can use that and then the next page is just a decorated decorated cardstock and then I have a little pocket here and then on this one I put two little um, tags that I you know decorated out and um, put those in there she can either use the tags or not use the tags and then this was a um, this paper is the coolest paper it's actually see-through note sheet paper but it's like material I think it comes let me show you it looks just like this and I used this on green um, backed cardstock and then put a little stamp just to give it like a little more dimension love that stuff and then another little sticker and um, some more note paper she can make some notes on and then I took a little bag and I made two little note tags here and or two note tags two little tags here and um, put a little tag on here and then this opens up and she can put in whatever she wants and then I have another sheet that I just you know did a little stamp and she can make some lists on and then this one is an envelope that I made and then I put a little tag inside it and um, a bingo Christmas bingo card that I downloaded it's a digi one that I put one of those epoxy um, round stickers and then this is a little pocket that I made out of some paper and then put a tag inside it and she can either use that tag or not use it it's up to her and then some other some more you know just plain cardstock I didn't really do much to dress that up because it was kind of dark and I figured well it's just kind of a separator and then a couple more sheets here and then one uh, that I did a little bit of stamping on and on the back and on the back side of this I um, put a couple sheets in here that say things to do made a pocket stamped a little stamp down here and then I covered the back half here I'll show you the back half I haven't really figured out how to do this binding so that it you know smoothly goes around the uh, I think I stuffed it too much is what I did but here's what the back half looks like. I just left it really plain because I didn't know what she'd be setting on on or anything like that. And then, um, and then there's the front, and that's the whole thing. That's my whole first Christmas junk journal, and I hope she likes it. And I look forward to doing more of them. It was quite a challenge in the beginning because I'm one of those people that really likes my stuff to all match. So it was hard kind of putting stuff in there that I didn't think really necessarily flowed. So. Anyways, you'll have to let me know what you think, and thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.